I had five more. The one that had one, cast them into the lake of fire. Because you ain't do nothing with it. You ain't take the time to bring forth fruit. You know, this ain't just about us. As individuals, it's about our nation. We're a nation of people. Now count your seat. Either way. In the chariots, going to the wilderness and making it to Israel. Out of the wilderness and to Israel. But that's what you got to do. You got to get out of the wilderness. We go into the wilderness again. You got to get out of the wilderness and make it to the kingdom. Or, when the judgment comes, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. Because he's going to bring rubbles. It ain't going to be just one third that's going to be gathered when he come back. Remember, two thirds are going to die. Two thirds are going to die and be cast into the lake of fire of we, the children of Israel. So he's going to have those rebels that he say he's going to purge out the rebels. He's going to have the rebels that are not going to the kingdom and cast them into the lake of fire. We want to be part of this first resurrection now. I hope this is what you want. Listen. Revelation 13 and 4. Just, I mean, I, I'm just saying what I'm saying because I love my people. I want to see you. The most I love you, but he want to make sure that you do the right things to make it. You know, you got a thousand years, so Mashiach Oshai got to show us of the Father. We know in part now and prophesy in part. But he's going he gonna to cast away all that we know in part and prophesy in part and make it whole. Make us know everything that we need to know to be able to make this change of these mortal bodies to change to spiritual bodies that the Most I have for us if we make it to be with him forever and ever and ever. That's what it's about. You ain't made it to you with him. And he's all in all. That's the ultimate goal. Whether you heal for better. And all nations going to learn how to be righteous. The righteousness of the Most High. And that's what? Keeping his laws. Doing what he say do. It's real simple. Listen. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So you don't plague this place. But if you want to stay polluted, you say, for her sins are reached under heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. I just, just said it in Lamentations 4.22. We ain't going to captivity no more. He's going he gonna to remember the iniquity, the sins of the Edomites, who are the superpower of earth at this time. He's going to look at them. Because they're the ones that influence all the other nations, including his chosen people, the children of Israel. That's why we have to look at this for what it says. She's going to receive double. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. And the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. That's just a righteous way that the Most High is going to do this because why? They are filled this earth with iniquity. This earth is filled with iniquity. Sins. It's okay to, in the music, in everyday life, TV, magazines, everything is all filthy. Make nasty. Jeremiah 50 and 15. It says, Shout against her round about. That's what you see us doing. Lifting our voice like a trumpet and showing our people that's in Babylon, amongst the Edomites, among America, the system that we're in now. Say, Shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are falling. You see America's foundation is falling. It's falling down. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Most High. Take vengeance upon her as she have done do unto her. You hear that? What comes around goes around. Listen to what it says, verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. And ye, 
All ye that bend the bow, all ye that have missiles. That's what it's talking about. Like a bow and arrow. It's talking about modern day, right? All they that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, spare no missiles. For she have sinned against the most high. She have sinned against the most high. Amos 9 and 8. This prophecy is going down, y'all. You're going to see it if you're alive to see it. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Most High, which are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the secret things of men, are upon the sinful kingdom. Now, his eyes are upon America. This is a sinful kingdom. No matter how you look at it, you can't name one righteous thing, according to this Bible, that the Edomites have done since they've been on the earth. Because they can't. Ask them all the time. Been asking them for over 20 some years. They can't, they can't give me one righteous thing. So the most high eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. See? That's why he said, come out of her through the spirit of the most high. Out of her ways, the things her polluted minds that they have polluted your mind to believe in fantasies, things, fables, and and things that will not profit you. Listen. He said, I will destroy from off the face of the earth, saving, you're going to save someone, that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. You know, the house again. The family of Jacob. Who's the family of Jacob? The 12 tribes of Israel. Who said it? Said the Most High. Verse 9. For lo, I will command, who are you going to command? You're going to command, command the angels that are on this earth. And I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. And we scattered among all nations. Like us corn seed sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. The least grain is one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. Listen. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All those that say the evil never come to us or prevent us, why? Right? And they're not they telling you that they're Gentile, you're a Gentile, and you're not under the most high's law, such commandments? That's what you're saying when you're not under the saying that we're not under the law, we're not mercy and grace. No. You're gonna die. The sinners, who's this, what's sin? First John three and five. First John three and five. First John 3 and 4, so like whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. See? For sin is the transgression of the law. See, they're not reading that to the people in the church and tell them that they're Gentiles, they're really Israelites, and they're not under the law, but they're under mercy and grace. Because this is what it says. This is in the New Testament. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. See? So, all the sinners of the most high people who are the 12 tribes of Israel are going to die by the sword. We say the evil shall not prevent or overtake us. Because they feel with the Holy Spirit running around the church like they got it, like a chicken with his head cut off, just hollering and screaming, like telling, shouting and all that stuff. Like that's the Holy Spirit. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's what they've been programmed, their brains been polluted to believe. Nah, look, look at this. I'll give you one scripture and just a debunk all of that. When you tell me this is what you're getting when you run around that church like a chicken with his head cut off, shouting and all that stuff. Is this coming to you? In St. John uh, 14 and 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, it says ghost, but we didn't find the word ghost in the Hebrew, we say spirit whom the Father will send by Hashem of myself, I'm saying the name of the Lord and Savior, he shall teach you all things. So you learn something as you run around the church like a chicken with a head, doing all that. You learn something? You being taught something? 
It said the Holy Spirit, you got the Holy Spirit going to teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, to your mind. How to think right. Whatsoever I have said unto you. You see? That's why that guy has to be debunked. That's why you got to look at this is This is real, people. This is what the most I say, and I see it clearly. Isaiah 47. Look. And verse 6. Isaiah 47 and 6. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance. I have polluted mine inheritance. You hear what he said? This is the most I did this. Why I say your brains are polluted? Because the most I said, I polluted mine inheritance. Who's this talking about? Who's this inheritance? Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. He polluted his inheritance. Who's this talking about? Who's this inheritance? Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. When the most I divided to the nations their inheritance. That's your lands. The places where they're going to live at. All nations were given a certain land to live in. When he separated the sons of Adam, he didn't integrate everyone like it is here in America. As you see now, you see the Chinese, where they at? Majority of the Chinese were in China. Majority of the Japanese were in Japan and so forth. Most of the Africans in where? Africa. You see what I'm saying? Europeans in Europe. You know what I mean? So here in America, it's a great melting pot now. The most high separated all the nations. The sons of Adam. We all come from Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So all the nations got their land. Was the Most High said, "This is gonna be your land." Twelve tribes of Israel. Then he gave the other lands their lands. Listen, verse nine. For the Most High's portion is his people. Jacob, who's the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel is the lot of his inheritance. So it's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel you see here in Isaiah 47 and 6. He said, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. What are the 12 tribes of Israel? The most I polluted us. And given them into thine hand. Your, thine means your hand. Whose hand? Let's look at verse 1. Come down.